was a little kid, maybe six or seven, I used to ask my parents, how will I know when I meet the person that I'm supposed to marry? And they would just smile and say, oh, you'll know. Well, for the other years of my life, that honestly seemed like a very weak answer. Like, they didn't want to tell me. <laughs> but the truth is, they were exactly right. Once I met you, I had no doubt. And I never will, Mrs. Kerber. A love happens like ours once in a lifetime. <clears throat> you were a miracle to me. The one who was everything. I had ever dreamed of the one I thought existed only in my imagination. And when you came into my life, I realized what I had always thought was happiness. I could not compare to the joy loving you brought me. You are a part of everything I think, do, and feel. And with you by my side, I believe anything is possible. This day gives me a chance to thank you for that miracle. You are always will be the love of my life. wise man of old once wrote that the greatest miracle in life is the miracle of friendship. To see just how true that is, all the two of you have to do is simply turn around and look out. Be brave, turn around. And you'll see that tonight you are totally surrounded by love. I saw you in that dress walking towards me. Wow. Now I know why they used the phrase drop dead gorgeous. Because I'm pretty sure I stopped breathing. Then when you came up and smiled at me like you always do, I felt so relaxed because I remembered that you and I were meant to be together. William, she, I now remind you that marriage begins in the giving of your word. You cannot give yourself over to the other without giving your word. And this giving must be unconditional. For in giving yourself over to the other, you give yourself over to the mystery of life and love. I, William, take you, Chi, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will have you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Without love, this place is really just a cold blue rock floating in space. But with love, with friendship, it's the kind of place you never want to forget or leave. And uh, that's because of all of you and because of love. So 
Here is to my bride, my soulmate. I finally found you. It took a long time. And now, by the power vested in me, it is my honor to pronounce as and to present for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. William Kerber III. Now, you may kiss. And we all wish them with the very best marriage, a lifetime of love, friendship, happiness, and a wonderful new life journey. A cheer, a toast. Watching you both together, uh, it's obvious for anyone to see just how perfect they are for each other. Uh, so, please, everyone, if you would, raise a glass, champagne, a toast. Uh, to the bride and groom, may you have many, many happy, blessed years together. Mr. and Mrs. William Kerber III! Real love is a reassuring whisper in the dark of night. Gee, William, my wish for you is for a lifetime of reassuring whispers. And it's my hope that during the long and grand years of your life together, you will always know that the other it's just an arm's length away. And may that knowledge give you the courage to always become the best and the bravest person that you're meant to be.